Whether you like it or not, mobile photography isn't just about your camera phone and its lens. Quite a few things depend on the application that manages your camera and its settings. And more often than not, a single application can turn your otherwise mediocre device into a decent camera phone. Today, I'll tell you about the best applications that will take your camera phone to a completely new level. I'll make one thing clear. I won't be mentioning Google Camera or the Gcam port. The reason is simple. Google Camera isn't exactly available for all the Android phones. As for Gcam, installing it is quite a challenge. You'll need root access and any changes in the root might void the warranty of your device. But just watch this video till the end to know your options. There are better, more convenient and feature-rich applications out there. Don't want to fiddle with camera settings during shooting? Then enjoy the shooting process and leave everything for post-production. At least that's what I usually do. I just shoot a picture, then just fix it on my PC. My weapon of choice is PhotoWorks. It is an AI-driven editor that has all the tools you need to make your picture look awesome. I use it to fix the composition, exposure or any other issues. Need to slim the face? It's just a slider drag. Want to slim the whole body without a gym membership? Easy peasy. Apart from that, PhotoWork has some intuitive color correction tools, responsive HSL sliders and tons of artistic filters. Need more reasons to try PhotoWorks? Then how about a good discount? Just follow the link in the description. If you are not quite ready to order right away, then opt for a free trial. But I still suggest you order Waterworks afterwards. It's really much more affordable than any Adobe product. This has been a bonus tip for you. But now back to our review. Let's kick off our review with the manual camera app. The name speaks for itself here. This application allows you to manage all the settings of your camera. Shutter speed, ISO, aperture width, a third grid overlay or other composition grids. You name it. The app is fun to use, but if you need to find a similar app for videos, then go with Pro Movie or Filmic Pro. The latter is a great application, albeit exclusively for iOS. And it really shows, since Filmic Pro is kind of expensive, it also has in-app purchases. Since I'm good at wasting money, I bought the full version and let me tell you, it's not worth the damage. Well. I had to shoot some of my YouTube videos with my phone, and I used this app to get the bleakest quality possible so that later I could color grade my videos the way I wanted. So anyway, here are three apps for you, based your choice on your needs. Sometimes you need to snap a shot right away to capture lightning and a bottle. This is when Camera MX comes in handy. This application has the shoot the pass feature and it does what the name suggests. You can capture the past moment with no effort. This feature is quite similar to iPhone's live photo. It allows you to record for about two seconds after you press the shutter button. After that, you can pick the best image. Granted, the application does not allow for complete manual settings, but some users might not even need them. There are also panorama mode, high-speed burst mode and HDR support. The application is free, but some effects and more advanced features are available as in-app purchases. You can try the application's free features first, then you'll know if you want to pay for the rest. Guys, can anyone explain to me the Instagram stories craze? I don't care much for the content, I'm more pulled by the lack of opportunities. There are only 5 or 10 lag cluster filters and exposure settings and no way to change the shutter speed. I've got a hunch that regular users don't need an array of settings. That's why 24fps is the next application I I want to recommend. Just press the button and off you go. Video recording is on and you know what? The application stabilizes it. There are two modes. First, there is optical stabilization, as pretty much similar to the standard iPhone feature. There is also digital stabilization that is blended with optical stabilization, and this blend provides a very smooth result. The application has a freemium model of distribution, but the paid version only offers additional filters, and you can get filters from anywhere on the internet and for free. At least that's what I did. I got myself a few 3D LUTs, and now I take awesome pictures in a single tap. Let's try some unconventional application, made background video recorder. The application does exactly what its name promises. You are free to turn off the shutter sound. You can run the application, then switch to some random game, 
and the application will be still recording like it's nobody's business. The recorder can roll for as long as you want. Some of the more prominent features of the application are the ability to save video with resolution up to 1080p and Google Drive integration. Just make sure that you act all natural while recording everything with your phone. Don't go giving off spy vibes. If you love nighttime photography and absolutely need the ability to set the right shutter speed, then this application is for you. With camera f 5 you can manually set the exposure time for 30 seconds, which is impressive. There is also a thing called intervalometer that allows you to take almost pro-looking time-lapse shots. There is one thing about the exposure time, however. No every camera phone is capable of setting it as high as 30 seconds, but it could work on your smartphone so try it, you could be the lucky one. All in all, Camera F35 is a fully manual application for taking pictures and recording videos. There is also the histogram, focus picking, and sound recording with an external microphone. Another thing I have to point out is that the latest version of the application is riddled with bugs. Just check the most recent viewer reviews. But I really hope that the developer will be able to fix their numerous mistakes. I really want to sing my praise to developers of open source apps, like the ones who created Open Camera. This is a free and easy to use camera application that is devoid of any ads. Now, that is an accomplishment, right? The application has a rich toolkit, HDR, auto exposure and autofocus lock, white balance settings, on-screen histogram, overlay of grids, etc. Besides, you'll also find remote activation, even with a voice common, which might really come in handy for time-lapse kind of shots or nighttime images. The application's interface is customizable, it can even be optimized for left and right-handed people. With open camera, you can record and stabilize 4K videos and record audio with an external microphone. Open camera is by far the best free camera application. After all, it's an open source and immensely feature-rich. Sadly, due to time limitations and sheer abundance of applications, I cannot tell you about each and every one of them, but I encourage you to try those discussed in the video. This way, you'll be able to form your own opinion. And don't forget about post-processing either. And make sure to try PhotoWorks. Please like this video and be sure to tell me about your favorite camera applications in the comments. That is for today, then see you next time!